Hey folks, it's Florida Deer. Thanks for joining me today. So today I'm gonna to go over just five relatively simple upgrades to this trailer to make it a little bit more useful for me and my purposes. This is not gonna probably apply to everybody, but it certainly does apply to me. So the first one is I will buy old garden tractors and lots of them don't run when I buy them. So this pulley system works pretty good, or I should say wench system. I did have to engineer the pulley on the edge here because the way this cranks this was given to me, I didn't buy it. So that's why it is, you know, set up this way is because I was trying to think of a way to do it. So I engineered it to go sideways and then have a pulley. And I, this does detach pretty easily. So I can put it in different locations should I desire for some reason. And uh, so that's upgrade number one. Upgrade number two are the D-ring pockets or D-ring stake pockets. I did have to cut a little bit out there. And the reason why I put only two is most of these D-rings are in the right location, but if you find yourself, uh, you know, say in the middle, like these, where these attach, it hits the, the straps hit the stump grinder kickstand, and then these are too far back to be used. So that is upgrade two, and you can actually put those in all sorts of places on the trailer. Upgrade three is the, this is the newest one, is the little toolbox. And basically it's not for a lot of tools, it's for my ratchet straps, so I'm not constantly taking them on and off the bed of the trailer or having to stick them in the truck. I can just have them in one location when I need them, they're there. When I don't need them, you know, they're also there. And, and also the stake pockets are in there too. You could put some more tools in there too, but it would be pretty tight. I wanted to get it specifically small enough for this, and I didn't want it to go past the fender. And as you can see, it is pretty much in line with the fender right there and the tire. So it worked pretty good. I think it's about 9.6 inches deep. And probably did overkill here, but it had the extra, I had the extra bolts and they had holes in them. So I think it's pretty sturdy. It does have some angles uh two like corner braces right there so that's the most recent one upgrade number three and if i get excited maybe i find it useful and want to carry more stuff i could put one on the other side too and the reason why i got that type was because i had the spare tire up there which blocks a, the ability for a tongue a toolbox but uh, i don't have any visibility issues like around the fenders uh, concerning the spare tire uh, this is a common one, the Gorilla Lift. I only use one side because it actually works pretty good. Um, the problem is these things will wiggle out on a long trip and then it, then it falls. It doesn't fall all the way down now. Now, when you're loading stuff, you can just push it down. So that's that works pretty good. And you can just lift it up with your foot too. And that works pretty good as well. So I may install the other half. I have it uh, somewhere, and somewhere in the uh, back of the carport. And then upgrade number five are these, basically you'll see them on RVs for I guess leveling and stuff. And basically I bought these pins extra, they'll come out and they'll stem down there if, if the front end wasn't so jacked up right now. Then you would be able to see that this will go and then it'll click in and then you can put this through. There you see some holes and you'll be able to slide that through and then position it where you want it. So that's for if I come home with a couple tractors, I have to dump the trailer and take off with the truck or something. Then what happens is I can come back later, put these jacks up and then unload the tractors without having to hook up the truck without the trailer tongue flopping everywhere uh, as you you know take something off i've done it before it's not good it's not probably safe it's not probably good on the equipment either so anyways that's why i've done it in the that's what i've used that for in the past a different type of jack on on some of the on one of the other trailers i had but anyways i hope this video was helpful if you have some of the same problems that i've had you know trying to figure out some ways to make the trailer more helpful if you did like the video, hit the like button. I'd appreciate that, and that would help the channel. And if you want to see more videos 
on John Deere garden tractors and one series and maybe occasional uh, thoughts and words on uh, trailers, then you can hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.